All right, we're back. I am the feature match this round, so you'll get to see this live, but I'm still going to record it from my perspective. Uh, we're against Jay Knight, who's on traditional armory, so as I talked about in the last round, not a great matchup for us. Uh, this hand's super awkward, but at least it has a Felm Bloodcaster. Uh, there's just, we just have a lot of dead cards. I could try and mulligan to find more units, but... Bone Bloodcast is kind of the most important card in the matchup, so this one has actual power. So we're going to keep it. Like, Lightning Sword might not do anything. It might kill a 2-1 a somewhere. Like, it, whatever. I mean, we're just going to hope that the little Bloodcaster that could gets there. Uh, opening on Seal on Primal Sigil, just because I still think Aegis on Champion of Cunning is the most important thing. There's the Artisan, so yeah, we're, we're just going to Lightning Storm that. There's... Not much reason to not do that. Uh, it's just a question of what do I do with the seal? I need double shadow next turn, so I might as well turn the seal into a shadow source. And yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna lightning storm. Uh, they they have very few lightning storm targets. You can use lightning storm to pop a Caria Aegis. Um, uh, obviously, we could. Uh, they, they're playing maidens, so we can do some stuff involving that in terms of. Uh, you know, we have Withering Witch or whatever, but, but we have a Death Strike in hand anyway, so I don't really care too much about that. And I'm just not going to get fancy here. Just Death Strike the Maiden, get in for two damage, and keep rolling from there. Uh, they are playing Throne Wardens, which is a new new card again. I'm going to say it. Didn't realize we could play them. They have double Artisan draw. Oh, God, that's going to be a problem. Part of me wants to just play the cunning and say, deal with this, but I think this is a good turn to develop my hand. Um, do I want to save this storm? It's going to be real hard to guarantee this. This is a tough spot, both in terms of what power to play. We're more likely to be able to get the quad, the the five shadow but getting Aegis on this is really important I'm gonna go with the primal then the question becomes permafrost versus lightning storm for various reasons and things warden I think we just let the artisan live if they had, it means they have the opening to torch this or something like that this is a rough spot to be Oh, they had a double artisan opening. That's just brutal. All right, well, Harbinger's kind of a clean play here. Um, they kind of had to deal with this anyways. I mean, if the, the, they may have been waiting to harsh rules, but whatever. At least it, it cleans up the artisan. Yeah, their harsh rules now becomes a two-for-one if they have it. And if they don't, they might be able to do some fancy things here. Ugh, that's rough. That's rough. I already used Death Strike. All right, well, there's a favor. What does that do? It means if I swing with Harbin. But if I swing with this, okay. Wow, they block! That's fortuitous. I wasn't expecting that block. Gotta be real. With I don't know what to make of that. I, I just straight up wasn't expecting that block. Uh, wow, he made a shiny one. That's cute. Uh, all right, well, they still got the Warcry 5 plus the Inspire, so. And it hits an Enforcer? Okay, it could have been worse. It means we don't get to activate this. What can you do? So, pause. What do I want to do here? Do I be patient? I don't know when this Champion of Cunning is going to get buffed is the problem. And it's my only unit left. So it's a question of how conservative do I want to be here. Or if I play it with a Shadow Source out, I have a 7-5 plus a 4-5 and they're at 16. Like, that's pretty strong. It's a real gamble and I have no idea what's in my opponent's hand. Um, but... With a double artisan draw, like I think I want to just try and end this game. I think the inevitability is on their side. 
being said, I haven't presented a Vanquish target all game, so that's kind of live here. Um, but again, there's just a really high payoff for for going this route, and that's they could die here. There's pauses, so they've probably got torches stuck in hand. We get it. We get there. They didn't draw any big weapons, and we get the first game. So that's big. That's big. That there was a lot of risk with that play, but as I said, I think they had the inevitability. They, we saw those pauses. We knew one of those cards was torch. Whoo, boy! That was that was a toughie. All right. So now we got to go to sideboarding. This matchup doesn't get any easier. Wow, he's just... How are these people sideboarding so quickly? I don't know how they do it. I just don't know how they do it. This is not a last word match, as much as I would like it to be. It is, it's a clean answer to Ikaria, and it can be hard for them to interact with. They're almost certainly taking out a lot of cards. Like, same with the Zindel's Gift. Like, it's just hard to know what we want here. They have Furnace Mages, Plague, Steward, Smother, Stash. Okay. Suffocate can be good until they start getting War Cries and then it gets worse. I love the Backlashes. Even though they don't have that many Backlash targets, they're like really important. <sighs> Boy, this is hard. I'm just looking at like a pile of like, eh, some of these cards are good, some of them aren't, sort of things. Uh, Permafrost is generally pretty bad. So I'm going to take those out. At least. I think we're just going to go with like the... Let's see, the Annihilates just have so few targets. Annihilate hits only... It only hits the three Valkyrie Enforcers. Oh, and they have Throne Wardens that they might keep in. I don't think that's enough. I, I think we'll just let our units do their job. Gonna cut those again. Withering Witches. I think, again, we're gonna trim down on those. We're gonna trim out the Lightning Storms. If they draw a Karya, we're just gonna have to figure out how to deal with it sort of thing. Uh, suffocates. They have maidens. They might not get buffed. Like it, even if they do, suffocate kills them. Doesn't hit anything else other than artisans. No, it hits artisans and enforcers. I don't know. Maybe we, we maybe we hedge on suffocates. I'm not sure. Definitely cut down on storms. Maybe cut all of them. Same with witches. Cut down on those. Kind of do the same plan as last time. I guess is what it looks like. I think it's Zindel Gifts is still worth playing. Bear is still worth playing. Misfield Drake's hard to interact with. Omen is slow, but probably necessary. Double Staff to try and protect it. Basically the same as before, but with no, with no last word. Just get there on Champion of Cunning. Yeah. I think that's fine, with, with a bit more disruption. All right. We'll see if this works right. Maybe... Maybe I'm supposed to take their sideboard more into consideration, but I don't, I don't know. Other than Furnace Mage, I don't know what they're bringing in. Another Smuggler Stash. I doubt we see... Maybe the Stewards come in. I'm not sure. But, but I'm very happy with the at least having the Sabotages and, and stuff in. Let's see. It's got a Suffocate of Favor. It's got some units, but I really want that early disruption in... And suffocate early is not that important. Yeah, let's shift this one. Doesn't have a clear path to victory. All right, well, this hand's even worse. Turn one, Sabo, not that important. The question is, do I want to seek here? I think it's reasonable to think we're going to get one more primal source. Let's just get a shadow source with this. We're going to wait on Sabotage. Uh, if I don't have an answer to Sword of Akari, I, I probably will Sabo here, though. Uh, yeah. Let's smuggler stash. Well, not happy seeing that stash, but hopefully we can find an answer to it. Like a backlash or whatever. For, I, I just can't afford to this for this to start wailing on us. Obviously, they can eventually get it back with Stash, but we'll deal with that when we get there. 
Again, they have a stash. We're just making stash better. What can you do? What can you do? Maven, jeez. May have been too aggressive on that, but... They didn't have any removal the last time we checked. They certainly could now, and they do. That's... That's going to be rough. This is going to be very difficult for us to deal with with this hand. This is a very tough spot for us to be in. I need a lot of help off the top of our deck, and that is not it. I'm not sure what we do now. We're going to get hit hard by this Maiden. Yeah, I might have been too premature on that Suffocate. I should have thought it through more. All right, well, that's kind of okay for us. Not really, but I can pretend it's okay. Um... They're just going to have a really sickening stash here, and there's nothing I can do about it. I, I think I had to take that sort of a Karya there, just based on what my hand was. Wow, they drew two Suffocates this game. Are they going to have the power to stash here? They probably just don't care. They're just going to kill me. It's not a two-turn clock. It could be, though. Jeez, they just had a really aggressive draw. Double Suffocate. Are those in their side? Yeah, they sided in three Suffocates. So basically they drew Suffocates instead of whatever in this game, and then saw what happened. Yeah, that's game. They're stuck on power, jeez. Yeah, we're pretty dead here. Uh, I mean, if, th th if their hands all spells, we're just we're just dead. Uh, we're not dead to torch, but we're we're very dead. Yeah, I really needed to backlash this before it hit. Yeah, let's see here. So if I had saved suffocate, we would have kept getting hit. But there's just nothing I can omen for here, right? There's just nothing. Yeah, that's that game. Ugh. Alright, so is there something I can change with my sideboard? Suffocates... Hmm. The fact that they're playing Maidens and stuff, I guess means that I do want... That I do want that board clear. It's really slow, though. As I said before, Bullet is really important in that matchup, right? Like, I just have nothing else to play early. I have these two Lightning Strikes and Bullet which force me to Sabo a sword there. So they brought in Charchain Flail. I don't know. Yeah, they brought in the Charchain Flail. They brought in the Suffocates. That, might, that means it's harder for them to deal with Snow Crush. I don't know if we'll have time to Snow Crush, though. They're, they're kind of just faster. Maybe only one staff of stories? Might be too hard to protect. I think I need to be aggressive. I think we still play it as a one of. All right, we'll we'll try it like this. I'm not going to change too much. This, these matchups are just a tale of how many uh, champions of cunning are you drawing, right? How many champions of cunning have you drawn? Kind of just need to pray for them. I wonder if they took Alpha Thrall Wardens. I haven't seen them yet. Oh, 
So we have a. We don't have any threats. We're on the draw. Ugh, that's a bummer. But we've got some disruption, some removal. Like, if we're going to be on the draw, this hand's not bad. It's not great. It's not. But it can go somewhere and do something. Gonna do that same sabotage here. I can just leave up lightning strike. They're stuck on power. So I think we need to save this for critical turns then. They may have multiple turn three plays. I can't leave up Lightning Strike, but I also want to just cast Steward next turn. I think that's prudent here. Get get something down. I can apply pressure. Now we're just going to have to, damn it, ride that to victory. No, that was wishful thinking. What do I want to do here? Is this the sabotage turn? I still have lightning strike. I want to get down these. Bizarre. Another suffocate. All right, we take rise. This hammer's not a problem. It's not buffed. Suffocate's not an issue either. Hammer can pressure staff. That much is true. But suffocate takes care of harbinger, but it deals with that. I'd rather Harbinger deal with Hammer, though. So, like, I could use Staff to bait it out. But that doesn't feel good either. I could just wait till Lightning Strike. We got time. It does mean they get to draw their way out of this, but that's fine. They probably just pass here. We are giving them time to draw more resources and spells, though. That's, you know, something we live with. That's better. got to somehow set it up where the staff is in like really good shape i think that's possible they they have artisan twice though it's going to be really difficult to, <laughs> to get anywhere here like that this lightning strike might just be really bad from here on out all right well a champion helps a bit hopefully they haven't drawn more suffocates i guess they whiffed on power on both those inspires which is scary um it's really scary. I mean, they, they probably drew a hammer now that deals with this. Wow, they're rising? The heck? That's kind of crazy. All right, so our best possible draw is Felt Banner. Like, by far our best possible draw. And there it is. All right. play this and hold up lightning strike I think that's better than just playing Drake there's a rune hammer it's this but this is now a threat K 
gift. Is that better than a Drake this turn? You know they have one hammer, two other spells. So it's likely to get a spell at least. This is a 6-6 six, six flyer though. And it also gets whatever they draw if it's not power. So it potentially gets three spells here. It's going to get a 4-1 Auric Rune Hammer. That's not a... We don't care either way about that really harsh old. So then the question becomes, do we put pressure on them or play a staff? Wow, it gets an Ikaria. Okay. I think we just try and go for the kill. They draw a weapon, it might die to Lightning Strike. Okay. Virtual doesn't do anything. And now we can kind of get aggressive. Whoo! All right. Champion of Cunning, the difference maker again in this matchup. Uh, God, he does so much work. Champion of Cunning is obscene. An obscene card. Woo! All right, those were t those were some tough ones to navigate. But uh, we got there. We're still <laughs> hanging on, still alive. Uh, <laughs> GG's to J-Knight, man. Those were some tough ones. Those were some tough ones. Uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next round. Oh, boy. Let's stay alive. <laughs>